Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are tackling toy storage, toy rotation. We've got all these toys behind me. This is something that you guys are always asking me about, how we organize and store all of Riley's toys. And now that we have Jackson too, now we're adding his toys to the mix. So I'm gonna be walking you guys through like all the different areas in our house where we keep toys and also just showing you how we go about organizing them so that Riley has like a variety of toys to play with so she doesn't get bored so that things aren't super overwhelming. And then for us as parents, so that we don't have to be cleaning up toys like all day long. I think there's about four or five different spaces in the house where Riley plays with toys. The first space and the one that we probably spend the most time in is this space here in the family room. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but then there's also Riley's bedroom. And then soon, once we get Jackson's nursery set up, we'll have some toys in his room. We also have toys in my bedroom just because sometimes I'm doing stuff in my bedroom and I wanna have toys accessible that I can hand to them to keep them entertained. And then the last space is probably the bathroom because Riley loves her bath time and we definitely have a lot of bath toys so we're gonna walk through all of them and hopefully I can share some tips with you guys I'll show you the basements and how we store everything but before we get started I do want to let you guys know that today's video is a collab with Callie Brand Support here on YouTube Callie is a mom to the cutest little toddler his name is Miles and Callie is just a genius when it comes to like organization hacks and productivity hacks I have collabed with a lot of moms over like the past year or so here on YouTube and I have loved working with every single one of them but when I tell you that I am fangirling today for collabing with Callie, I am seriously like fangirling because I've been watching her videos for years and she's one of my favorite YouTubers. So over on her channel, she's gonna be sharing a video just like this one where she's sharing like her toy storage and organization tips. So definitely go make sure to check out her video after you watch this one. The link to her channel and her Instagram and all of that will be down in the description box. Go over to her channel, tell her that I sent you, say hi, be her friend because she is seriously just goals. She's got a lot of stuff going on and she still gets it all done. So go check out her video. I promise you guys are gonna love her. All right, so let's get started over here. I'm gonna show you guys Riley's toy storage cube. So this is a little cube that my sister actually gave us. So it's a hand-me-down, but I thought it would be perfect for storing Riley's toys. But I'll find something similar to this and I will link it for you guys down below. Anything that I can share with you guys, I will link. I will also be linking those little storage boxes for you guys. So make sure you open up that description box if you wanna know where some of this stuff is from. So this is where we display play most of Riley's toys here when she's playing in the family room just to give you a better idea we've got the couch here and then we have the fireplace the TVs over here so we spent a lot of time in this general area playing so I like to pick a lot of different things for her to have access to but not too many things so that it's just like a jumbled mess and nothing has its place and everything's just chaotic so in this queue I like to put some different books for her I'm actually gonna be rotating all of this after I show you because a lot of this stuff has been out now for over a month like we took a lot of these toys to my parents house recently and we were there for a month so I'm gonna be rotating this stuff out you guys can see how we switch things up Riley also likes to play with a lot of things that have a lot of different pieces and instead of just having those things on the shelf like that we have chosen to use these little shoe boxes these are super affordable and I think I got like a set of like five of them for like five bucks like really really cheap so we really like using these pink ones for Riley's toys and then over there you'll see that we have some gray ones for Jackson that I'll show you in a second but anything like that that's loose like her little farm animals we keep in these shoe boxes and over here the most random thing these like little Easter eggs with finger puppets that she got for Easter we keep them nice and organized in those bins but then there's other stuff like this like her barn that you don't have to actually put in a bin because it's kind of like a standalone toy so we have her love every block set this is one of her favorite toys we will be leaving this one out because it's something that she plays with a ton and then we have some puzzles over here she loves to do puzzles but one of the things that I like to do is rotate out her puzzle so we'll be putting some new puzzles there so I kind of like to to keep things with like a general theme. I usually like to have some kind of blocks out displayed, some kind of either Duplo blocks or something that she can build with. So right now these are hit, so I'm gonna leave them here. And then some kind of like little figurines that she can do like pretend play with. And then we have over here like some random things that she's been enjoying playing with. We've got Sven back there. And then in this little cube, we have some toys that Jackson actually likes to play with. This one I may have to put away because it has like little pieces and now Jackson is starting to get into things. But we have a little shelf here that's more of some of Jackson's toys. Jackson, by the way, if you guys are new here, Jackson just turned six months old and Riley is two and a half. So now that Jackson Jackson is six months old. We used to keep his toys here on his play mat and I'll show you them in a second But most of his toys used to be there and that's what he would play with like whenever he was doing tummy time He'd be able to play with his toys, but now he's getting a little older I do want to like have some real estate here on the cube. That's also for Jackson So I have to kind of figure out how I'm gonna balance the cube between 
Jackson stuff and Riley stuff. So that's the cube. Over here I have like Riley's dinosaurs that she really likes to play with. This is a really cute little activity mat that folds flat and then she can play with the dinos. And then in this bin, what I like to keep in here are some towels for when she does like water play. Sometimes we'll do like water play. I'll give her water in bowls and spatulas and stuff. So I always keep the towels there so that they're easy to reach. And then she has like random dolls and like some of her plush toys that she likes to play with. I like to have some of them here in case she's in the mood to play with something like that. And then she does have her letter puzzle here. I think I put it here because it didn't fit on the cube. But this is her very famous letter puzzle that she loves to play with. I'll finish up with Riley first over here and then we'll go over to Jackson stuff. But there are some bigger pieces that we always keep out. She loves her ice cream cart. She's had this thing for like two years now. Like she's had this for the longest time but she still loves to play with it. So that always stays out and then I'll show you. This is her little table and Olaf is hanging out at her table. She plays here, she eats here, she loves this little table. And then over here on this side, she still has her food truck that is always out. We're thinking that here maybe for Christmas we may switch this out for a like real like little kid toddler kitchen. So this may be going soon but for now it's gonna stay here and she likes to play with that. And then we have her little Minnie Mouse train thing. So then getting back to Jackson. This is one of his two play mats. He has this play mat and he has the Love Every play mat. But for now, this is the one that we have out here. So all of his toys, we used to just kind of throw along here. And if you guys want to see exactly like some of the toys that he like is really into these days, I will link his six month baby update down below. And I kind of go through like some of his favorite toys. But point is that they were just kind of always thrown here. Some crinkle books. These are books that he really likes. This little ball that he's been playing with a lot. So what I've been doing for him is yes, putting them on his map, but every once in a while we'll rotate them out. So I have bins here with other just baby toys. Some of these are just hand-me-downs from Riley. We had a lot of these toys with Riley and I just kept them. So I'll just change those out and just put some new ones so he has something different to see once he's kind of gotten bored of those. The idea of using the different colored bins, I love by the way, I feel like that really makes it really easy for me to know like what is Riley's and what is Jackson's. That was my husband's idea, so shout out to Joe. That was a really good thing that he kind of decided to implement in our toy rotation system. So now I'm going to show you guys like her art supplies because that's something that I get a lot of questions about too. But before I do that, I know that you guys are going to be wondering like how often do you switch out toys? You know, what's the process for toy rotation? Really? That's up to everybody. Like everybody can do this a different way. I find that every two to four weeks is really when we're doing a major rotation. Here and there, Riley will ask for certain toys and she'll request certain things. And if I feel like changing that out, then I will swap it for another toy. But if you implement some kind of toy rotation system, it's totally up to you how you do it. It's not like there's one specific way. Some people sort things by category, which is what I kind of tend to do. Other people have legit bins for like every month is a different bin full of totally different toys or every week they have a whole bin of different toys. So it's totally up to you how you go about this. All right, so in this corner of our kitchen is where we keep some of Riley's art supplies. It's not the most organized. I know that it could be better organized, but here in this little bin, is anything like arts and crafts related. We have bubbles, we have plain sheets of paper, we have markers in here. This is like a little bead set that she likes to play with sometimes and you'll hear her screaming in the background because she just woke up from her nap. But we have finger paint. We have a whole bunch of stuff, but this stuff can only be used if she's sitting in her high chair so she's not making a mess everywhere. So I keep things like stickers and we love these um, like Crayola MS free sets. So we have a bin here that we can reach for whenever she requests to do something art related and I also have this little like fold-up table that you guys ask me about all the time I'll link this for you guys down below too but my husband got Riley this cute little art table that can hold a bunch of different things so we keep some markers in here and some papers and stickers and little crayons and all of that these are great from like the Target dollar spot so just a bunch of things that she can play with a bunch of different sticker sets and stuff like that so every once in a while we'll give her this and we'll say okay you can color as long as we're watching her and there's nothing that you know she can like paint our furniture with but this is a cute little way to store some of your art stuff over here in the garage there's a couple random things that i wanted to show you like this is riley's garden set and i keep this stuff handy because if we're ever going to go play out on the deck I like to be able to just reach for some of this stuff for her. So I have that for her. This is a little kitchen sink. All the pieces are in there. So this is like a bigger outdoor play toy for her. She also has Play-Doh over here. She has her sand kit, her like kinetic sand kit. This is a water doodle mat. 
and then this is like a little wooden set of like a little town it's really cute but i keep those there in the garage just because the rest of her toys that we really rotate are down in the basement and those aren't toys that i would say that we rotate those are more like on request or sometimes myself i'll be like let's go outside let's do something i want to get riley outside to like get some fresh air so what activity do i want her to do do i want her to play with the little kitchen sink do i want her to do kinetic sand so having it within arm's reach is really handy but since the kids are still in their rooms right now i'm going to take you down to the basement we have an unfinished basement but it definitely holds a bunch of stuff so this little corner over here is where we keep the toys that are not currently being used so we have a bunch of different bins where we keep things like this is riley's little train set it's like a little lego train set she has some princess cars here she has some random like coloring books and stuff in here this is like a miscellaneous bin here she has her magnet tiles she has like a little matching game there these are bath toys which i may take upstairs since i'm gonna keep her bath toys separate we have like princess play she has like little crowns and like little shoes and stuff and some puzzles up here she has another set of mega blocks and i believe in here she has more toys yeah in here are some of like the bigger toys that don't necessarily fit in a shoebox but when we go to rotate toys we'll take some of these bigger items out and we'll swap them out for some of the stuff that's upstairs and then in here she has another big item too this is a giant ball pit and this is just something that i'm not going to have upstairs all the time but on a special occasion i know that we have the ball pit here and we can set that up for her but it's not like an everyday thing i have a couple more toys for riley upstairs in jackson's room since we've been using his unfinished nursery as like a storage unit right now but for the most part this is where we keep her toys my husband does want to like um install like some built-ins he wants to make like a good shelving system so once that's done it'll be even nicer and better organized and now that jackson is going to be having more toys we'll have like a row of pink toys and a row of gray toys but i feel like this is a good way of containing the toys having a separate bin for each of like the activities is really helpful too because i can say okay she wants to play with a train set or i want her to focus on building something today so this looks like a good toy and so far this system has been working really really well all right so we're back in the family room i'm already winded from going up and down the stairs but i'm going to take you to riley's room now since she's awake and i'm going to show you how we kind of store some of her toys in her room so this is Riley's room. Good morning, Gordy. Did you have a good sleep? I have a good sleep. Good sleep? You ready to play? Yeah. So let me show you before she decides to make a mess, okay? Which is probably inevitable. It's gonna be a mess. So this is where we keep some of Riley's toys. She has a couple little things out here. She has like a little shape sorter and she has this xylophone that she loves. And then in this little drawer system thing, I have a few toys. I don't like to keep a ton of stuff because she will make a disaster here in her room. But I have a couple things. This is another shape sorter that the actual bottom piece is downstairs. A couple of these little books. We have another like buildable train thing, Lego thing here. And then down here we have just some random little toys that are more for Jackson. We do spend a bit of time throughout the day in Riley's room. Like I'll be upstairs here and I'm folding clothes or I'm cleaning up their rooms and stuff. So if all the toys were downstairs then they'd be pretty bored up here and they'd be getting into even more things than they already do. So that's why I like to keep some of their toys up here. Again, I try to limit it so that there's not a ton of things or definitely not a lot of things that have little tiny pieces. So I've liked how that's worked out here in her closet. Every once in a while too, I'll switch out um, some of those toys for some of the things that I have up here. Like I have a little music set up here, some other blocks over there. She does always have her rocking horse displayed here. Mimi and Papa gave her this rocking horse that she loves to just ride on. And then in this corner of her room, we keep some of her stuffed animals in this little basket. Yeehaw! Are you a cowgirl? And then up here we have all her books. I wanted her books to be displayed because I wanted her to have the ability to say, oh, tonight I want to read the dinosaur book or tonight I want to read the Cinderella book. So every once in a while what I'll do is I'll switch out the order of the books. Like I'll put this one behind so she can see some of the other books because we have a ton, a ton of books. And I just do my best to kind of rotate them so that some of them are a little bit more visible. She has a lot of Star Wars books because she's obsessed with Star Wars. Her Bible though always stays front and center because we like to read from the Jesus book as she calls it. So yeah, Riley and Jackson have a lot of books. I love to have books for them to read, for us to read to them. So some of them are displayed here. Some of them will be in Jackson's rooms. We get that set up and then there are some downstairs in the little cube. We just kind of try to switch it up so that we're not reading the same exact books all the time. So I convinced Riley to come back downstairs. So what I'm gonna do is while Jackson's still sleeping, I'm gonna rotate out his toys. So I'm gonna just start taking some of his toys out of those bins and just replace the ones that are here. Now 
now he has a few different toys that he hasn't seen in a while. Like this one he's never seen because I think he got this one for Christmas and I haven't had it out for him yet. Once I go through Riley's cube and just reorganize things, then I will decide if some of these I'm going to keep on the cube or what I'm going to do with them. But if I leave all these toys on his mat, he literally won't have anywhere to be on the mat. All right, so here are a few of the things that I'm gonna be replacing onto that cube. So I've got magnet tiles, one of the little train sets. I have a couple different books that I'm gonna try to display there. These are actually really cute little puzzles that I got her the other day. She hasn't seen these. And then these are her little people that I showed you not too long ago, or like her little wooden people of all the different professions and stuff. So I'm gonna put those there for her to play. She'll be really excited about that. All right, so I think that this is what the cube is gonna look like. I could not get Riley to stay away for even a second. So like you can see, some of the stuff I kept out here stuff. Okay, and you're already making a mess. I put new stuff out there, but then there are some things that will remain here that I've seen her play with lately. This stuff I didn't wanna touch because Jackson seems to like enjoy the stacking or like watching Riley stack stuff and that little cube he really likes. But I switched out the books here and I left the potty training one back there just because I want to read that one to her to see if she gets with the program and potty training. But I added some of Jackson's toys from his mat here and then some of the stuff I switched out. She's got magnet tiles, she's got some different different bins of stuff. Like I mentioned before, this is always gonna stay here for now because she's really enjoying it. And then just a few different things and then new puzzles, <laughs> new puzzles that she hasn't wow, seen. Wow, that's so many things. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> she's all excited because she's never seen those before. But even that toy, that's a toy we've had forever and she went straight for it because she hadn't seen it in a really long time. So that's one of the positives about toy rotation and just switching out the toys every once in a while because it's like a brand new thing for them. So Riley is loving the new puzzles. She's been playing there for a little while. Now she wants to play with her magnet tiles, but our rule we try to stick to is that before you open up a new bin, you have to pick up whatever it is that you are playing with. We're trying to implement that with her. Some days she does better than others, but today I told her to pick these up and she did, so she is behaving okay. good. So she's gonna play with those. Jackson is over here. He just woke up from his nap and I fed him. Whoa. So now he has some new toys to play with that he hasn't seen in a really long time. So it's also helpful for him to rotate his toys and keep him interested and learning new things and stuff. So I'm really glad that I got to change out some of his toys. And then later today we'll play with some of the ones that are in the cube for him. I also have this little octopus up there that he loves and I have like a little ball. So these kiddos, I think, are pretty much set. All right, so Joe is watching the kids for me really quick downstairs so I can show you guys what I'm gonna be doing here in our bedroom. So I brought up a whole bunch of random little toys, mostly for Riley, but also some stuff for Jackson. Because like I mentioned earlier, we spend a lot of time in my bedroom. Sometimes I'm here just cleaning up, making my bed and all of that, and I like to have some toys that they can play with to keep them entertained. But here's the thing, I don't want for my house to look like there are toys everywhere. Like downstairs where the cube is, that's fine. But I don't want for there to be toys always out of place. I don't want my bedroom to look like a toy store. So here's a quick little hack for like hiding some of these toys. I got this little basket at Marshall's. Like I've had this little basket for the longest time and it's been sitting in one of my closets. So I'm gonna put the toys in there and then I'm gonna cover it with this little like faux rug. It's like a little rug, but you could do the same thing with like any kind of throw, any kind of blanket or anything like that. I honestly don't even know if this is big enough, but you get the point. The point is put the toys in there and hide them and then you can just retrieve them whenever you want your kids to play with them. 
So that's what that looks like now. We've got some different toys. These little water wells are great because you can paint with them with just the water. And then I have a little puzzle for her. You just wanna make sure if you have any toys in here that they're not the kind of toys that are gonna be going off with like sound all the time. So we have all the toys now and then all I'm gonna do is just kind of like throw this over and I may just go and get a blanket but this kind of gives you the idea. And then there you go. You have like a really pretty basket. You'll have like a blanket or some kind of throw like this over it and then no one will even know that there are toys in there. It just looks like a pretty piece of decor. All right, so we're in the bathroom now and this is the last thing that I wanna show you guys. I'm pretty sure that this video is really long. But like I mentioned, Riley loves her bath time. So we have a lot of different bath toys. Like this entire bin is full of bath toys. And then this red one is also full of random little bath toys. And usually this used to be like right here and then she'd play with everything. She even has more little bath toys over here like these random little random little characters and stuff. So a lot of times you just have a bunch of random toys and then after bath time there'd be like a whole lot of stuff to pick up. So I ordered this thing on Amazon. It just came in so I'm just gonna set it up right now. But this goes across the tub and the width does adjust so it should fit most bathtubs. Like this one I think can go pretty wide. So what I intend to do with this now is instead of having all of her bath toys out, I can just set aside a few that I want her to use either every night or every week and I can rotate them that way. So I'm gonna go through her toys over here and I'm gonna put a few in that little thing and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. And so this is what her bathroom setup looks like now. I think that that is a lot more inviting, a lot just simpler for her. She has a few different toys that she can play with during her bath. And that way it's not overwhelming and it's not like everything's all over the place. She has her little mermaids and it's okay if they're all falling down. I mean, they're going to be in the water in like five seconds. And then she's got some little stacking cups that she likes and the water goes through there. So she can play with those and then this little octopus. So I really like the setup just picking maybe two or three things that she can play with and then we'll rotate those out every week or every couple of days if she's getting bored of them. And the good thing is that this is like right here. I went ahead and put all of her other bath toys in this giant green bin that used to be in Jackson's room and she's got a bunch of little squeezy toys. These like change the color of the water. You put like little tablets in it so Joe likes to play with those with her whenever he gives her a bath. And then she's got some more stacking cups over here, more little animals. She has this little stingray from Nemo where she can get like the little Nemo characters. She also has her foam letters. So there are a lot of different things that we can choose from. And I think I have more downstairs in the basement that I mentioned that I might bring up here. So then this bin will live down here under the sink. And whenever we need to change out the toys, we can do that. And that is it, you guys. So that is how we do toy storage, toy rotation around here. Like I mentioned before, remember there's no right way to do this. This is just what works for us. So I hope that this inspired you maybe, gave you some tips, some ideas to hopefully get the toy situation under control in your home. If you guys have any other tips or help things that you want to share make sure to leave them down below in the comments and make sure to head over to Callie's video so you can see how she creates a system in her home for her but thank you guys so much for being here thank you for watching I love you guys to pieces make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys